Hey, Spurtnik. I don't actually know how to say your name, but anyway, I just thought I'd quickly just do a video showing you how all of this works. So this is an example that I actually pulled from the docs. And notice that we've got OK here, so we're changing the OK button. These are actually all attributes on the Q button component. So at the moment, push is set to true. If I were to set that to flat, which is one of the options that you can see in the docs, then that's going to change it to flat. Oh, let's try that again. Yeah, you might have to wait a while for it to refresh or like to refresh the page because every time you click on this button, it's basically running that code again. Um, so it's not going to happen, not going to update live. Yeah, so we've got flat. You can do stuff like changing the label. So something like, oh, good. Once again, I have to wait till it's all loaded. Yeah, so we have total control over that. Let me just show you a couple of other things you can do just in case you don't have experience with this API. We could say secondary to give it the secondary color. Save that. And there we go, it changes the color. So there's, man, there's, there's actually heaps we can do. We can change the icon. I don't think it currently has an icon at the moment. So we could make it um, edit, or I think it's create, which gives us like that little pencil icon. There we go. What else can we do? We can also give it some padding. So maybe medium, so we can use Quasar's default medium padding value. And that works. Or we could give it like uh, our own set of pixels, like 34 pixels or something like that. That's also going to work for us. So that's pretty cool. What else can we do? We can also make it disabled. This could be useful if like you wanna load something and make sure that they don't click on it again. Oh, let's try that again. Maybe it's disable, singular. I don't know. <laughs> Let's give that another try with disable. Otherwise, it looks like I need to check the docs to make sure I've got it right. Nope. All right. Let's just ignore that one for now. I'll dig into that. And then another one you'll probably use is loading. And there we go. That gives it the loading symbol. Yeah, so I thought I'd just give you like a quick rundown of some of the stuff you can do. Also, what you can do is you can actually feed it your own dialogue. Let me just quickly check how you do this in the docs. Um, so if we go to quasar.dev, by the way, this is how I use the docs. I can say Q dialogue. So that's going to give me the component for dialogue, but we've also got dialogue for plugins. I think there's an option here where we can feed our own. Um, yeah, here we go. If we say component, we can actually make our own dialogue component, which means we have like all of that flexibility of Quasar available to us. And if we import that, then we can use it. And however, there's like a little bit of an API that I think you need to adhere to. But anyway, that's all in the docs. I just thought I'd give you a quick rundown of how you change all of the styling there. Hope you found that useful.